Denim and jeans production is the most polluting technology in modern fashion. Today, digital fashion designers are working on alternative solutions. Our project is designed to change the usual industrial cycle. We present our solution, Cyber Jeans. Production of the designer's denim collections without using real fabrics and chemical washing treatments. Hi, I'm Levi Strauss. The guy who invented those blue pants with big pockets with metal rivets. It seems like the whole world is wearing them now. You call them jeans. However, tell me, have you ever thought about how much your beautiful fashionable clothes cost? For example, a few of your favorite pairs of jeans in your wardrobe? As for me, I love fashion. My luxury exclusive denim jacket costs a lot of money. He is one of a kind. When I go out to my metaverse club, all the robot guys are looking at me. Darling, you're a digital girl, and you could be more intelligent. He doesn't ask you the price of your jacket. He is trying to say that the fashion industry, which produces our clothes, has a very negative impact on nature. Hello, this is Ryan Lee from the Virtual Forum Television Studio. Today, on World Environment Day, we also ask ourselves, how much are we paid to always look fashionable and trendy? For instance, I heard that one of the most polluting fashion industries is jeans production. Now I would like to give the floor to our fashion journalist Mono. Mono, are you with us? Yes, Ryan, you are right. According to figures from the United Nations Environment Program, it takes 3,781 liters of water to make a pair of jeans, from the production of the cotton to the delivery of the final product to the store. The amount of this clean water could be sufficient to meet the consumption needs of millions of people. I'm currently at a virtual conference with my colleagues from Africa and China. Nessa, please join our discussion. Hi, Mona, and thank you for your invitation. What I can say. While in hot countries the population suffers from thirst and the land from lack of water, around 20% of wastewater worldwide comes from textile dyeing and chemical processing. And pollution from the denim industry is high on that list. If demographic trends and lifestyles remain as they are now, this number could double over the next 10 years. Hello everyone, I'm Jason from China. Mona, let me intervene. I would like to add to your discussion the topic of the conditions under which people have to work in denim factories in some countries. Here are just a few images taken by famous photojournalists. I'm an old man. And I feel terribly guilty seeing all these things. After all, I was the one who came up with these pants with metal rivets, which turned into these famous blue jeans. Just think, in my time it was just clothes for workers, and now it has turned into a huge international business. Do you know, Mr. Strauss, that there are jeans, the most expensive in the world, that cost more than a million? They are decorated with diamonds. Every girl dreams of jeans like these. But now I'm upset. I don't want them anymore, even with diamonds. It seems that I am also responsible for this destruction of our nature. Every season I buy several pairs of new jeans, some of which I have never worn yet. Often, I buy not because I need it, but because I want to stay on trend. Yes, it's a sad story. But I am glad, my dear, that you finally feel at least some responsibility for what is happening. If we stop buying useless things, factories might stop producing them. Maybe this will save our nature and our living environment? Yes, today we have a solution. Digital fashion. Now, for example, Factories do not need to produce thousands of new trendy jeans just to show them to buyers. It was like that yesterday. 
This is a digital fashion designer, Alexandra. She will show us how it happens. Today, there are special digital design programs allow us to see real jeans on a computer screen without producing them in real life. To produce new collections, we no longer need to use fabrics, chemicals, and waste precious, clean water. It all starts with a design idea and AI image generator. Hi, I'm Cora, an artificial intelligence and designer's assistant. Now you don't need to draw anything anymore. Just enter text describing your new jean style and let me guide the process. You see how quickly everything works out. I create several styles for you. Now you can choose what you like. So, my collection is ready to be presented to my clients, professional buyers. They can see it and decide what they would like to order and buy. This jeans collection is ready without the use of any chemicals, materials, or pure precious water. Designers can do this thanks to AI. Moreover, with the help of an artificial intelligence image generator, you can create a fashion magazine cover or a full-fledged designer catalog. very surprised and impressed by what I saw. It seems that digital fashion is making my jeans environmentally friendly. But how will events develop when designer receives an order to produce real jeans? To start industrial production, I must first make samples, create patterns, see how the jeans fit on a human body, how they behave in movement. I can do all these things using another fashion design program. I will use it to create 3D jeans. We were pleased to present you our Cyber Genes project. We believe that creativity and innovation can change the world for the better.